another day time for another tutorial hey guys welcome back to windy studio and i hope you all guys are doing great in this tutorial we will be creating a very simple clean looking poster design and if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed my channel yet then please do subscribe my channel and also if you are looking for this psd file this will be available for my patreon supporter and if you want to check it the link is in the description list below so with that note let's dive into the video so here we are in photoshop and first thing first let's create an artboard and for that go to file click on new and i'll just go with 4 by 5 resolution to 300 color mode to rgb bitrate to 16 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on uh, create and right after that let's drag and drop uh, this uh, so right over here and let's control t let's add some rotation maybe something like that and maybe let's make it a little bigger and let's let's keep it like that and now let's add some shapes so from here let's go over here and add eclipse so i'll just add one eclipse right over here and let's go to the layer tab and let's keep it under this layer and let's go for kind of maybe let's go for this color i guess and let's keep it just like so alt and drag make a copy Control t let's make it a little smaller and i'll keep one maybe maybe right around here and again we're gonna we can tweak this later anytime so let's go for kind of this color and let's go over here and add a gradient and let's go for a basic and let's change it to radial let's change the color so make the color the brighter part to pure white and maybe the outer side to kind of darker color yep maybe maybe something like that maybe somewhere around here and let's click ok and and again like i said we can tweak it anytime later and let's go over here and let's drag and drop this uh, image right over here and let's keep it all the way to the top and control t let's make it a little smaller and maybe let's add some rotation just just like so and further so let's make it a little smaller i just want to And let's add a drop shadow just to make some separation so go over here and let's apply a shadow and then let's go for a darker color and then let's increase the spread just like so and maybe with the opacity i think uh, this looks good to me and let's click on ok and let's do the same thing for this so select over here let's go over here and apply a uh, drop shadow and same thing let's drop down the opacity maybe somewhere around here and it, let's click on ok let's move it a little up and now let's add some shapes so go over here add a triangle or you can go with any shapes you like uh, let's create one and let's see let's alt and drag let's make a copy Control t let's add a rotation and maybe let's add one right over here and let's go to the layer and let's change the color to maybe kind of a brighter yellow just like that and then for this one let's keep it one right over here and for this one let's change the color to a kind of darker color yep, just like so maybe let's make it a more smaller yep just like that and maybe for this one let's make a one more copy Control j Control t and let's add one just just like so and let's add some text so go over here I'll just add some text right around here and maybe let's change the font size to like that maybe some more smaller and let's add some spacing and control A control C control V okay let's keep it like that and let's change the font color to darker color just like so maybe a little lighter and let's keep it all the way to the bottom we just above this 
save the mule, let's drop down the opacity. Yep, just like that. And let's make a copy. Control J, Control T. Let's uh, move it on the other side. And then let's change the alignment to this one. And maybe let's add some variations. Another text. C. Let's make it bigger. Control T. Let's keep it all the way to the top, but later we're gonna uh, bring it back. And then let's add one text right around here. Keep it like that, and then uh, for C, let's drop down the opacity to 15%, or maybe let's keep it like 25, and let's keep it uh, under this text layer, under this steps, and then for this U, let's keep it uh, above this so and let's change the opacity to maybe like. 30 uh, maybe let's keep it above this shape above this little image and then maybe let's change the opacity some more yep let's keep it at 80 yep just like that and for r let's make it 30 it's change let's move this all the way to the bottom and again for the opacity let's keep it as 30 and again for y2 let's keep it all the way to the top bottom and let's change the opacity to 30. And now let's go over here and let's drag and drop this uh, logo right around here Control t let's make it a little smaller let's keep it just like so and maybe let's add a uh, one more text on the top and let's make it a little bigger and let's do a final color touch up so let's go over here select the layer let's go to camera raw filter and uh, from here let's uh, drop down the highlights let's increase the shadows and then let's do the same thing let's and then let's increase the clarity and let's increase the texture too and from the fire uh, from the detail tab let's increase the noise reduction just a little bit and from the color uh, mixer, let's uh, drop the, uh, drown the saturation for red just a little bit and maybe orange just like so. And maybe let's increase the saturation for yellows and let's keep it like that. And one more thing, if you want to change the background, you can go over here and change the background anytime. Let's go for uh, brighter yellow. Let's see how it looks. maybe somewhere around here so anyway that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial see you guys in the next video bye bye